Hey folks, welcome back to Real Estate Investing Unmasked. Today I'm going to teach you how to fix very small problem, but could be a big problem if it wasn't taken care of ahead of time. When you're renting out a property and you've got a garage, those garage doors can be somewhat expensive, so you got to be careful with them. I've got one where the garage door is coming off. See right there, that piece came off of the door right there. So I'm going to use fiberglass and uh, we're going to fix that problem. So let me show you how to do that. So on my garage door, I've got this problem right there. This ripped up and, you know, garage doors are not cheap. So I'm gonna fix this with some fiberglassing. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna take out these bolts. I kept it there so I didn't lose them. And I'm gonna wipe this clean, give it a little sand, a little sanding job. And then I'm gonna mix up some resin and some hardener. And I'll show you guys how to do that. My favorite ones, favorite things to use. Here we've got the West System 105 epoxy resin and you've got the hardener, a slow hardener. So what we gotta do is we actually have to do one pump of this and one pump of that into a container that is neither foam nor glass and uh, as per the instructions. So make sure if you're gonna use something like this, use the instructions. We're gonna mix it up for about a minute and then we're gonna be able to take fabric, fiberglass cloth like this yeah, some kids yelling in the background. We're going to take fiberglass cloth like this and we're going to dip it in there and we're going to make a couple layers of this. We're going to cut this into a couple of squares that will fit over the spot where the, the garage door opener is pulling the metal back. And uh, we're going to apply that probably about three or four layers of it. So we need just enough to do that. It might be a couple of squirts each, but you want to do one to one, just like the instructions say. All right, let's get to it. All right, so what I'm using here is uh, an old little bucket that I got that I used to have some screws in there. Oh, and it's plastic, so it fits what it asked. I also have protective gloves here to mix the stuff. I got my knife to cut the fiberglass cloth. And I also have several of these little wood sticks that I can use to stir the stuff. And I use that all the time in construction and fixing up around the house. It's nice for when I'm pinching stuff. So you can actually see right there how I've used this to clamp down and protect wood. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of pumps into there and we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. All right, so we got our cloth here. It's a lot of cloth and I don't need a whole ton of it. So, I'm just gonna make a couple of squares the size that I need. And scissors would probably be better, but this is what I have access to at the moment. So this is what I'm gonna use. Now this cloth is very easy to cut before you put the epoxy on it. But once you put the epoxy on it, it's, uh, that stuff is solid. Those fibers really hold the strength. I don't have any handy right now. So that patch, that's a, that is an ugly, ugly patch. You know what, I'm gonna get some scissors. See if I can make some prettier patches. All right, that should work better. Still, I don't need patches that are too huge, but I do need it big enough that it's gonna be able to fix the issue at hand. It'll adhere to the door. Eh, still not too bad, so. Scissors? Not scissors. <laughs> I'll use both. So what we wanna do is get about two or three layers, probably I'll, I'll do four pieces of this, get some layers of it. So when we put it up there, it uh, strengthens itself pretty well. All right, cool. So I got enough pieces. I just did three, that should be sufficient. You know what, I probably should do a fourth just in case something goes wrong. Because uh, once you got your epoxy made, you don't wanna then go wait trying to cut up another piece of fabric, especially once your hands are all gooey. There we go, good enough. So I've got one, two, three, four. That'll probably be my last patch because it's the biggest. Cover up the ugliness of the others. Okay, so now what we gotta do is get this. I got the little piece of paper just for oversplash. I think I'm gonna do two pumps. One. And two. Okay, that's two full pumps of the resin of that. And now we're going to use the hardener. One pump, two pumps, and just in case I miss some, there's a little bit more. 
Yeah, there we go. Now we take this one of these sticks, mix it for a minute. What will happen is it'll start to turn into like a, oh, a little gluey. There's a little thing on the bottom causing it to flick right around in there. Probably needs a little bit more hardener because it not a whole lot really came out. You can smell it. it. Has a smell to it that it's working. Don't know if it's a good thing that I'm smelling it, but <laughs> I do smell it. Okay, so there's the consistency of it. And as this stuff gets mixed up, it does create heat. You gotta be careful what you mix it in. It can catch on fire and melt stuff. So you gotta treat this stuff with some respect. See, that's not a whole lot in there but we're not covering a huge spot either. I think we're just about ready. I might need some more hardener, a little bit more in there. Cloudiness to it. So now let's go ahead and get you over to the garage door. And they had a bunch of junk near my garage door. Doesn't help any. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of that epoxy glue. We're gonna kinda soak our rags in it. Little pieces of cloth. And you see the screw, we'll take that out. You can always redrill a new hole for it. We'll know about where it is. I'll make sure I know where it is. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting the stuff in there. Now you could use a paintbrush. That's what my father-in-law always does. You use a paintbrush to squeeze it on. Right, so let's get that on there. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Careful not to get that in my eyes. Oof. Okay, so there's the first piece. And it's got all kinds of goo up there. Let's get our second piece. I'm just gonna put it right over the top of that last one. And it's gonna soak in some of the resin and stuff from the last one. There we go. All kinds of drippage. This one stretches over both holes. Maybe I didn't make those pieces big enough, but it'll be fine. So you want to make sure you get enough of the glue that all of those fibers are wet or moist from the, from the epoxy. This is really getting nice and warm. I can feel it on my fingers through the gloves. The epoxy glue gets warm as it starts to cure. Oh, these little strands. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. It's all right. So I'm just adding a little bit more glue. Key point is to get that, make sure that all the, the patches, which we've got four of them on there now. Maybe I should have cut five, I don't know. The patches get plenty of this epoxy in there. And between the epoxy hardening and the, the fabric, it's gonna work out just fine. It's gonna be super strong and I still have that much glue left, so I could have gotten a couple more, but that's all right. Now, instead of waiting for these to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and bust the glue, bust the fabric a little bit to get these where these could screw it in. That saves me the trouble of having to drill it out later. All right, so I got the hole there. I'm not gonna leave them in there, otherwise they'd be stuck. <laughs> Just making the hole. There we go. So we got the holes in place. Be able to drill that in later, and that looks just fine. So now we just let it dry. Yeah, so you can see the, the hole there and the hole there. You can see the epoxy is nice and wet. You can see the reflection on there. But that will give it the strength it needs to holding the garage door again and not have to worry about that thing breaking off. So again, clean, sand, mix the epoxy one to one with the specific one that I got and I'll see if I can find a link. It'd be an affiliate link, of course, and for Amazon down below for you, so you can find it. And then you mix it with the fiberglass and I'll put a link for that too, why not? And then you put it up there and let it dry. It's really easy and I'll show you when it's all done. I let this thing cure for a day and that's what it looks like. I think that looks great. Ain't the prettiest little job, but it definitely works. So it was four layers. I probably should have done six or seven, but you know, if it starts to break or something, then I'll, I'll overdo it. But it was a pretty easy job and pretty cheap to fix.